I have a lot of admiration for Douglas Dakota. He's good. And he's right. People are doing it to themselves. When you mistreat the police, when you mistreat any authority like that, they will quit. And guess what? If we're bad to the policemen on the street, they will call in martial law completely. The police will be so, so aggravated that they will quit and they will call in martial law. Now, if you're from this country, you've been taught to respect authority and the police. And speaking as a citizen of the U.S., I recommend that we all get along with the police no matter what, because they are extremely important to us. The fact is, if it weren't for the police, there would be no peace in this world. They help uphold justice. They put their life on the line every single minute and second that they are out there. You think this isn't a dangerous world? Watch Everybody Loves Raymond when his brother's in a pizza joint and he goes up to a burglar. How close he comes to losing his life just by standing up for everybody else's life. The police put their lives on the line every single day for our life, yours and mine. And they should not be disrespected, not ever. We should appreciate that we have authority looking out over us and protecting us every single day, every single second. Today, this world forgets what's important is the day that it stops becoming the world that we need. The day we stop respecting authority is the day we're all in trouble. You have to respect the police. Because they are protecting us, everybody. They are not the enemy. <laughs> In a world that's at war on terrorism, we're at war with <laughs> unknown things, unseen things, but it has nothing to do with the police whatsoever. We need to respect our policemen and we need to put them in first in mind because they put us first. Whether you like it or not, the policemen put us first. They are there to do a job and to uphold the law and to protect us. All of us. The biggest problem we have are these hate groups that want to incite riots, that want to incite hate. When's the hate gonna stop people? And when is the love gonna begin? That's what I want to know. Where does all that hate end? Where does getting along begin? Doesn't matter 
what color we are, doesn't matter what race we are. Our race is not important. Our color is not important. We are important as a human being. Doesn't matter what we look like. Doesn't matter where we come from. What matters is we are a human being and we need to respect those put their lives on the line for us. And the police do that every single day. We need to respect the laws. The laws are here for a reason. Not to scare you, but to prepare you. You need to follow the laws. You need to follow the recommendations. You need to do what you're told. Because babies... I don't know how long this world's going to be here. The Bible talks about the extinction of the planet Earth. And you know, it's hard to say how long God is going to let Earth exist. We're already being exterminated by alien beings that we don't know the first thing about. And they're called Nephilim. Yeah. Maybe they're bad. Maybe they're good. I don't know. I can't really say. There's Nephilim reptoids. It's hard to say. There is so much stuff in this world. You know what we need to focus on? We need to focus on God and why we're here. We need to focus on the fact that we are here to keep the peace. And the peace needs to begin with us. All of us. Can't bring about peace when you're busy tearing things down can't bring about peace when you're busy rioting and causing trouble. The peace begins with each and every one of us. Inside of us. Let there be peace on earth. Let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth. The peace that was meant to be. And I end this with a serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Take care and God bless.